that we're going to be applying a white base and for this we are going to want a clean canvas. I tend to work a lot better with foundations because face paints tend to crack on me. So for step two, we're going to apply uh, orange and red eyeshadow all over our eyes. Step three is that we're going to be applying a black eyeshadow to our eyelid and the bottom as well. And this is going to make our Katrina's eyes look a bit more hollow. We want all these three colors to blend together and then add a hint of gold to the eye. We're going to draw half a circle around our eye and this is sort of like a half flower. And we're going to be adding gold gems to the circles. Now we're going to draw our skull's nose. And we're going to do this by drawing two triangles, two half triangles around our nose area and then adding a hint of glitter. Next up, we're going to apply a black eyeshadow onto our cheekbones to define our skull a little more. You wanna use that black eyeshadow to give it a more chiseled look. To make the skull's teeth, I'm going to be using a black eyeliner. We're going to connect this with our black eyeshadow contour that we just applied and then start drawing lines as if it were the skull's teeth. Once we get to the inner part where the lipstick is at, we want to sort of blend the eyeliner a little. And if you really want to get creative, you can start adding dots or you can even start adding a flower on your chin. Practice is definitely key. For me, this form of makeup is very special and it holds a very special place in my heart because it's a way of honoring our lost loved ones and not only that, but we get to celebrate our culture with it.